Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today I am in YouTube because I am going to do this quiz to tell me if I'm smart enough for my age, and I'm and also Kai's here. Hi, I'm watching him. Yeah. The best cowpaw infants who gets to work in 15 minutes and is gentle on Tommy's cowpaw was kids be kids. Big chance to find this out. Here are the rules. You will need to answer 15 questions and you will get 5 points for each right answer. Don't forget to count the points because you will need them to interpret the results at the end of the video. So, let's start. 1. Let's start with something simple. What is the largest country in the world? A. Canada B. Russia C. China D. India Okay, so the options are Canada, Russia, China, or India. I'm going to say Russia. I think it's Russia. And the right answer is Russia. Yes. It covers 6.6 .6 million square miles. So much space. 2. What is the closest planet to the sun? A. Mars. Mercury. B. Jupiter. Mercury. C. Pluto. D. Mercury. Of course, it's Mercury. A year on Mercury is just 88 days. By the way, as of 2006, Pluto is not a planet anymore. The definition of the planet was changed, and poor Pluto failed to fit the description. Now, how about some history? 3. Who dies first? A. Charles Dickens B. Adolf Hitler C. Charles Darwin D. Queen Victoria Charles Dickens was the first to die. Number 4. What's the square root of 169? A. 12 B. 15 C. 13 D. 25 Um, I don't know. Well, this one is pretty easy. It's 13. 5. How many sides does a cube have? A. 10 B. 6 C. 8 D. Depends on the size of the cube. Of course, it doesn't yeah, depend on the size right. of the cube. It has six sides, no matter what. No, no, no. Six. Why is the sky blue? A. Because it reflects off the ocean. B. Because of the North Pole. C. Because of Earth's atmosphere. The right answer is C. The thing is, light that comes from the sun scatters in the atmosphere of our planet. Shorter waves scatter more. That's why all we have left from the visible light is the blue color. 7. What is the capital of Bulgaria? A. Rome B. Bucharest C. Sofia D. Bratislava I'm just gonna guess Sofia Alright, it's Sofia. Let's go to the next question. 8. What is the largest animal? A. Bear B. The blue whale C. Tiger D. Elephant It's the blue whale. It's the blue whale. The largest animal in the world is the blue whale. It can be as big as 140 tons. Can you even imagine such a giant thing? By the way, you can watch it. Okay, what's the next one? F.S. Fitzgerald, D. J. A. Steinbeck. I'm gonna guess D. This book was written by J. D. Salinger. Everyone should know this stuff. 10. Which vitamin is abundant in citrus fruits? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin B. C. Vitamin C. D. Oh, vitamin D. I think it's vitamin C. You know, C. Citrus. Easy to memorize. Doctors say that when you are sick, you should eat oranges because they have a lot of vitamin C, and it helps you to recover faster. Well, I'll go to the bed now. 11. Who defined the law of gravitation? A. Newton. B. Archimedes. C. Galileo. D. Einstein. The right answer is Newton. You probably know the story about an apple falling on his head. I'm not sure if the story is true, but Newton was definitely the first one who defined the law of gravitation. 12. Where is bullfighting the national game? A. Italy B. France C. Spain D. Poland Poland? That's where Tara comes from. Bullfighting or corrida is the national game in Spain. However, as of 2010, bullfighting was banned in Catalonia, but not yet in the rest of Spain. 13. Who composed the Four Seasons? A. Mozart B. Bach C. Beethoven D. Vivaldi Vivaldi? The Four Seasons, which is a beautiful piece of music, was composed by Antonio Vivaldi. Vivaldi, okay. 
14. What is the name of the device that is used to see objects on the surface from a submarine? A. Periscope B. Telescope C. Spectroscope D. Kaleidoscope Spectroscope? The right answer is Periscope. And now for the last question. 15. The headquarters of the UNESCO is at A. New York B. Paris C. Rome D. London London? This organization is situated in Paris, France. Now it's time to calculate the results. You get 5 points for each right answer. Now enter your score into the calculator and divide it by your age. But if you are younger than 10, divide it by 10. And if you are older than 18, divide your score by 18. Now, when you have a number, add 6 to it and let's check what your score means. You are extremely smart. You have a great general knowledge. Congratulations! You are intelligent enough for your age. This is a good result. It means you should read more books and learn harder to improve your general knowledge. Are you satisfied with your result? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and send it to your friends to compare your results with them. And of course, click subscribe to join us on the Bright Side of Life. Guys, I'm back. The right answer is. Hi guys, so yeah, time to study up the results. Give me one moment while I cal calculate this. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. My total is forty-five. Periscope. Guys. 15. The headquarters of the UNESCO. Now it's time to calculate the results. You get 5 points for each right answer. Now enter your score into the calculator and divide it by your age. But if you are younger than 10, divide it by 10. And if you are older than 18, divide your score by 18. Now, when you have a number, add 6 to it and let's check what your score means. You are extremely smart. You have a great general knowledge. Congratulations! You are intelligent enough for your age. This is a good result. It means you should read more books and learn harder to improve your general knowledge. Are you satisfied with your result? Check what your score means. Guys, I got 45 points. I got 45 points. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and turn the notification button on. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye!